is LBS Honey and welcome back to another package video. Today I have a package from eBay and it's actually an auction that I won about a week ago. Surprisingly, nobody bid on these LPS but me so I was able to get it for a really cheap price and I've just got the package now and uh, yeah, we're gonna open it up. There's one LPS in particular that I am so excited to get. I've wanted this particular LPS for years. I've just never really been able to find it for a decent price, including shipping. But shipping on this package was actually free, so it worked out really nicely in the end. And I just can't wait to see it in person because it actually has a bit of a personal story to it. So without further ado, let's get on to actually opening the package so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is exactly what the package looks like when I first opened it. I haven't gone in any more than this. I just kind of opened because my address was printed really big on top of it. But as you can see, the seller actually individually wrapped every single LPS, which was so nice of them like i feel like so many people just chuck their lps in a bag and call it a day which is completely fine but it's so nice to see sellers take like actual care into packaging their lps so they don't get scratched and damaged on the way here so oh i love you seller oh my god but anyway <laughs> It came with this baggie of accessories and it actually looks like there's more accessories in here than that was like shown on the listing which um yes please. It came with these bows and I don't remember these being shown on the listing but I absolutely love this strawberry designed one. Oh my god. Also a few normal LPS accessories such as like bottles, a little needle, a basket etc. But one accessory in particular that I'm really happy to have is this fountain. I've actually been wanting a fountain for my outside scenes for videos for a while. I was really tempted to get the Civilian Families fountain, but now that I have the LPS one, I am super content with this, so expect to see this in some outside shots very soon. Enough about the accessories, let's get onto these LPS, and I guess we're just gonna open them one at a time. I think we can all already see that this is a frog, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this one up first. I really hope these aren't gonna be like too difficult to open, please. Uh. Here he is. I love this frog's colors. It's so simple, but so bright and vibrant. And this one is like one of the moving pets, so his legs can actually bend. And I think if you like push down on him, he can actually jump, which is pretty cool. Y'all remember when Hasbro was like innovative with their LPS? Uh. Next up we have, oh, this ferret, yo, bro look at this man actually glowing like what a queen oh my god i love the colors i love how it goes from white to light purple to dark purple and even the like little light purple patches the hearts and the ears like oh this is like peak lps design beautiful oh my god ferret lps yes please this one seems a little tightly packaged so I don't know how easy it's going to get out, but is it a bunny? Oh yeah, okay. So this uh, package, I believe, comes with all three pet triplet bunnies, which is pretty cool. I don't think I have any of them, which is a very nice, because it's always nice to get all three at once, because bro, if you have like one triplet LPS, tracking down the other two is just, is so frustrating, so super happy to have all three and i forgot to mention all of these seem to be in really good condition so far oh dragonfly okay uh, dragonfly lps can we all just admit the wings are beautiful like the transparency of them is just so pretty next one is oh is this the short hair cat <gasps> yo okay bruh Wait, is she fake? Hold on. I think she might be fake. No. Oh my god, really? Bro, she doesn't look right. Like, something definitely looks off. And her head just feels different. I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. Can y'all help me out with this? Here's what she looks like. Here is the bottom of her, and I'll show you guys her neck peg. Um, majority of LPS uh, have clear neck pegs when they are authentic, but some authentic LPS do have white 
neck pegs so I'm not sure which one this one is meant to have it does have a white one I'm not sure if you'll be able to see you can kind of see in there it's definitely a white peg I don't know it just doesn't feel right to me I have a feeling that this LBS is fake which really sucks because I thought that this whole bunch was going to be authentic so now I'm a little like worried about the rest of the LPS in this package but we move we move we gotta stay positive okay here ladies and gents keep the positivity going before I cry I think this is another short hair and I'm really praying that this one is authentic because it is a short hair cat that I've wanted for a while bro I don't know this one doesn't look like... Oh, I don't know. Okay, yeah, I definitely think this LPS is fake as well. <sighs> I really, really wanted this short head cat. It's the short head cat with like the paint splatter on it, which I love that kind of like design choice so much. I don't have it. I really wanted it. Oh my god, I can't believe this, bro. It looked authentic in the picture. Like, I'm not lying here. It definitely looked authentic. I'll put up a picture on screen of, like, the listing. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it definitely looked more authentic than it does in person. But I can, I can honestly tell straight away. Like, the head feels like a fake LPS, and it has a bright white neck peg, which isn't very, like, comforting to me. There's the bottom. I mean, I could be wrong, but it just really doesn't feel like an authentic short hair cat to me compared to the other short hair cats I have. I don't know. I'm just not getting a good feeling about these two. So that's really unfortunate, bruh. Oh my god. I mean, they're still cute and I'm going to keep them, but i just love to have the actual authentic version of them. I just noticed as well, I'm not sure if you guys can see, the seller put like nail polish on the eyes or some kind of varnish on the eyes to make them glossy as well. So it's a bit messy looking. <laughs> oh no no. Let's all hope that none of these other LPS are fakes. I don't think there's any more big five LPS in this package. There is a dog that I really want and that is like the main reason I bought this package and you guys will see in a minute why. But hopefully that one's not fake and um, yeah, let's, let's just keep going and hope for the best. So next up we have a little turtle. This little guy looks pretty authentic. I've never really seen any fake turtles before and I'd be really surprised if there were any just because fake LPS usually tend to be popular LPS and I don't think turtles are the most popular LPS mold out there. So I'm pretty confident this guy is legitimate and he's in really good condition and very, very cute. I love the colors, especially like the little swell on his knees. Next up we have, oh, okay, we have a walrus. This is like one of the mod pets, M-O-D. Um, I don't think there's any fake versions of these either. Has a silver magnet underneath. Looks in pretty good condition. Walrus LPS, let's be honest, they are definitely overlooked in the LPS community. Not many people talk about them or use them, oh my god, for videos, but they're definitely worth the time. Like, this guy is so pretty, the kind of abstract art going around him and his little love heart eyes. Such a cutie. Oh, oh, okay, so this is the fairy. Ta da! I love fairy LBS. I have nothing against them. It is disappointing that their heads don't bobble, but in general, I think the designs that they did were really nice and unique. And it's definitely something that Hasbro did as an experiment, and it kind of turned out right. Like, this was a good Hasbro experiment, unlike, like, you know, a lot of the things Hasbro has done since then. <laughs> Like, fairies were definitely not the worst thing. So there's three more pets here. I think this one here is the dog. Oh my god, it is. Okay, okay. So I'll give you guys some backstory on it, but let's just all hope that this is authentic. Please be authentic. Please. I've wanted this pet for so long. Oh my god. Here she is. Oh my god, she is not in the best condition. She's got a couple chips, but I could probably fix that up with some paint and varnish. But oh my god, you guys, I'm I'm 
almost certain she is authentic everything looks pretty good on her she feels authentic she's got a clear peg in her neck like things are going good for her so I want to give you guys a little backstory about this LBS because I have wanted her for so long so when I was about 12 years old I looked after a puppy for about six months before giving her to a much better more suited home at the time I did not live in a house or in an environment that was like good for keeping a dog if you know what I mean like it wasn't a bad environment it just was not the best for a dog and I wanted to give my little dog the best chance at life possible so I looked after her for six months and then ended up giving her to a, um, a veterinary nurse that was currently in training so bro you couldn't have like given her to a better house at that point but I loved her to death and she looked exactly like this LPS she wasn't a chihuahua fully she was a chihuahua cross Jack Russell she was the cutest thing and I loved her to death and it broke my heart having to give her away but I knew she was going to a good home but I always missed her and I always wanted to get this LPS because it reminded me so much of her so I'm so happy to finally have this LPS because it's kind of like my way of remembering her and keeping a piece of her with me because it was the only pet I ever like had you know I've never had a pet since or before then and those six months were amazing and I wish I could you know get another pet in the future hopefully I will but for now uh, I'll keep this little memory with me this beautiful little chihuahua and um yeah there's my little backstory about her like literally she looked just like this LBS the same little eyebrows and everything it was crazy so I'm so happy to finally have this LBS and um yeah, she's going to be in a special little place on display. Y'all don't understand how relieved I am that that chihuahua is actually authentic. So let's move on to the last two LPS in here. I think this is a bunny. Oh yeah, this is one of the pet triplet bunnies. So that means this one should also be a pet triplet bunny as well. But we'll take a look at this little guy quickly. I think this is like the middle bunny. He is a little rusty, oh, so he's going to need a bit of a cleaning, but there he is. These are actually quite big for pet triplet pets. And our last LPS is the last pet triplet bunny. This one, bro, this one looks like he's up to something. Like, I do not trust this man. He is scheming. Okay, look at those eyes. Those are some shifty eyes. But there's all three of them together. I know the sticker eye pet triplets especially aren't people's favorites because of the eyes, but I don't really see a problem with them. Yes, they're not as good as traditional LPS eyes, but they're still really cute and they give them a bit of expression, which is nice. So that was everything in today's package. I have to admit, I was not expecting to get fake LPS in this package. I am really surprised a little upset because i really thought that i was getting authentic shohei cats for a really cheap price and i was so excited but it is what it is i can't change anything now and i honestly don't think it was the seller's fault like they didn't sell these with malicious intent they were actually very nice and messaged me asking me if my package had arrived safely and of course they wrapped everything individually so they definitely cared about the lps they may not have just known that these were not authentic so i can't really blame them i'm not angry at them it's just a little disappointing and i should have honestly noticed and paid better attention to the pictures but even with the fakes i still got a bunch of authentic lps and my little dream chihuahua here that i've been trying to get for years so i definitely cannot complain like i said shipping was free i was literally the only person to bid on this auction so i definitely got it for a bargain and overall i am super happy with everything i got so well, there you have it guys that was my latest ebay package i feel like half of you guys are gonna be like yes another ebay package woo and the other half are gonna be like um hello up with the package videos <laughs> and i do apologize for so many package videos i know i have been like posting more than usual like opening pets and and stuff 
but <laughs> trust me, short films are coming. The next short film is actually going to be a bit spooky and of course I have my delayed Pride Month video which is going to be coming out as well and you know, a bit of a, I, I guess a comedy skit? I, I don't really know how to explain it but they are all coming in due time. Uh, I'm, in about two days, I believe, the next short film will be coming out so keep those peepers peeled and I hope you will enjoy it. Um, and yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, the, the weather's just been hell. I really don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> There's a police siren going off in the background. They're coming to haul me off to jail for the lack of uploads of short films and such. But anyway, before I get taken off to jail, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, like always, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. I apologize once again if the comments are turned off. I will try to turn them on as soon as I possibly can. And um, yeah, hope you all have a great day. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> okay, bye.